Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. What is that? What is what is that thing? Hold on. Is that the alert box? That's crazy. Why was that up there? Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> well, good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 episode where I'm going to be building on uh, my, my solo base, but I'm going to let it load first. There we go. We're all loaded up. Okay, so, um, yeah, just going to be an easy night tonight because um, uh, no particular reason, uh, you know, I just, uh, I, I'm feeling kind of uh, standoffish tonight. I don't want to be any kind of public servers. I don't want to hang out or do anything, you know? And I'm actually thinking about installing Skyrim again and going back and just playing a, playing some solo Skyrim for a little bit. You know, I've <clears throat> I've only ever ran through the Skyrim about four years ago, maybe six years ago. And I love Skyrim. Now, it is it is not meant for kids, okay? Like, it is definitely, it is an adult game. There's lots of blood and gore and killing dragons and, and slaying people. And there's a lot of politics to it as well. Anyhow, I love Skyrim. I just, I, I wanted to say that. So, I would love if there was a game comparable to Skyrim in, uh, in Roblox. That would be, that would be pretty cool, you know? And I, th I think it would be possible. In fact, I think, oh no, I fell down. I think there is someone out there right now, one of my fans probably, who's, who's listening right now going, no, this is not possible. You will make something amazing, something comparable to Skyrim in Roblox. You can, I know you can, because I wanna play one. I, I want to play. I want to play Skyrim in Roblox, and you know what? You could make it multiplayer, or you could give them the option of like loading and saving uh, solo missions or like standalone, which is kind of moot to the point of being a game on Roblox. Roblox is supposed to be a social game, but what I've found is a lot of the exploiters um, just just ruin it ruin ruin the game for us oh and i have something to say my son he's been getting into hacking and and getting into the family trade the field i guess and he came to me today and goes dad can i download this and you know what he pointed me to synapsis i pulled my glasses off i looked at him and i said son Synapsis is meant for Roblox. He goes, yeah, I know. I said, it's an exploiting tool. He goes, yeah, I know. I said, you were never allowed to download that program. He goes, why dad? I said, because exploiting is not hacking. He goes, how? I said, because when you exploit you don't understand what you're actually doing. Like there's there's a difference between going and creating a program that will inject the DLL for you, that, that'll overtake the, uh, the process, and then there's going and downloading scripts that you have no clue what they do. You don't care how to write them. Like I was, I was livid. I said, you can go watch exploiters all day long on, on YouTube. They're, they're out there, you know, and they're getting their accounts banned, but you will not get your account banned on Roblox. And I was, I was mad, boy. So, and that's all I got to say about that. <clears throat> it, it really did. It made me so mad that he wanted to go and get exploits. Just so you know. That's a, that's how angry I was. I was completely upset. So for all of you out there who think that I'm mean for saying it, I don't care. That's, that's how I feel. And that's how I roll. 
Which one did I use? This is a 2-4. Did I use a 2-3 and should have used a 2-4? No, 2-3. What is this? One, two, three. It's a four by two. Is it four by one? Hmm. I'm beginning to think that there may have been a better way to do this. <coughs> is it a half wedge? No, half wedge is two. Hmm. One third. Ah, oh, it's a one three. I wonder if I should have done a 1-4. Is there a 1-4? There is a 1-4. Hmm. Should I go back and fix all those? Because, I mean, that, that looks bigger. I guess it's not really. So, no, we're gonna we're gonna continue on. Sorry, sorry, I, I was getting distracted. Uh, it was a what was it again? It was a one three one three wedge. Where'd the one three go? There it is. Okay, here we go. Nice and easy. You know what? You know what? It would be much easier to just build these down here and then to move them up. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying. So let's uh let's do that. Let's uh that there, 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 there. Oh wait a second. Am I putting double blueprints down? Yeah, I'm doing double blueprints somehow. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a little bit of a bug, isn't it? Being able to put two blueprints in one spot. I bet I bet I can get different colors too. What do you think? What do you think? So this one right back here. It's gonna be. Oh no, that wasn't enough. Uh, da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. What if I can make like a yellow glow? I guess there's already a yellow glow, isn't there? Let's not do yellow glow. Let's do let's do white glow, maybe. Blue already glows, so we don't want to do that. Let's do let's do uh, yeah. Let's do wait. What is that? I don't I don't know what that is. Hmm. This is palm. We'll do we'll do palm glow. Palm glow. Ooh, what, what happens if I do a, a white and a blue? Okay, slide in there. Boom. So that's a like a dark grayish color, which it's not really gray. And then we will take a blue. And we'll just slide it in there like that. Oh, that didn't really work, did it? It just became blue. Hmm. Dang it. Well, that's that's not even the colors I wanted anyway. <laughs> I'm I'm messing around, aren't I? Sorry. Sorry. There we go. And then this one. And then we can chop some of these. <sighs> You know, a lot of people will come up to you and they're like, "What's wrong? Why why don't you want to hang out today? Why why don't you want to like talk talk about it?" Well, there's there's some days that you just don't want to hang out with anybody, and that's absolutely fine. Um I'm going to be coming up on um uh, moving time really quick, and I'm not going to be able to have anybody helping me move. So, I mean, there's there's not going to be a really a point to me hanging out and talking. And I'm not going to be able to make videos. That's that's going to suck. I'm not going to lie. That's going to suck hardcore. Ugh. I just I don't I don't think I'm going to have very much time to produce any kind of videos or anything like that. So um, this isn't goodbye. I'm I'm not 
leaving my channel a lot of, a lot of people were freaking out like code why are your views down so much why why don't you have so many people anymore i do it's still going up i mean it's not it's not like we've lost anyone we still gain subscribers every single day you still come back and you watch the videos you hang out you have a good time it's okay um if the views go down there's usually a reason, and the reason that I can think of is Monday, or not Monday, uh, January, February, March, April time frame is always a slow time. First off, it's the, the first of the year, all right, advertisers don't pay as much, and every YouTuber across the board feels a drop. It just happens. So, don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it, you shouldn't worry about it either, and it's okay the views go down uh kids get out of school and the views go back up it happens the first couple years i freaked out about it i really did and uh i remember cineac and midget they both talked to me they're like dude just calm down it will it will level out that's why there's the joke of uh cineac every every year he says wake me up when april comes Wake me up when April's here, because it really does. the The views, the the revenue, everything just stops for like three, four months. the uh, The best month, the bestest months, uh, are right after Halloween. Like October starts, and we have October, November, December, and that's like we got Turkey Day, and we got uh, the fall calendar, and we got Christmas. So, you know, big revenue times, big, big numbers to throw up during those times. That's when you want to do a lot of videos at once, you know, try and try and get that clickbait out there. Ha ha ha. Just kidding. You know, clickbait is getting more sneaky. They are getting sneaky, sneaky on what to what you click on. I've even noticed my taste in videos that I click on has changed. You know, the the way that I get attracted to a video and think, "Huh, I want to watch that." It's uh, it's very different than back in 2015, 2016. You know, I still think the best ones ever were like the really pretty girls in the uh, thumbnails, and you click onto it, and it's like a, a programming tutorial. With no girls, <laughs> just a just a guy. With the, and sometimes it's not even it's not even a, a, a audio. It's it's like some notepad that pulls up, and they're typing on it. Like, hey guys, welcome back today. <laughs> That's what it was like whenever I, I started looking around for uh, video tutorials on Lumber Tycoon too. Um, like how to get through the maze. And you would get some person that was recording with the Roblox player, no audio, just music, and a notepad that would pop up. Or they, they would type into the chat, they'd be like, hey guys, today we are going to the maze. And I'm like, oh my god, dude, seriously, it is YouTube. It's supposed to be meant to be a, a video. I don't want to read a video. And there's still videos today that are like less than less than five minutes long. And they're a bunch of captions with like some dramatic music and some big news article. I'm like, I don't want to read a video. I don't read videos. My wife, she puts on the closed caption. I'm like, why is the closed caption in on? She's like, because I couldn't hear it quite so well. I wanted to hear what they said. I'm like, don't. I don't want to read a, a movie. Don't no read movie. I don't. <laughs> so I don't know. That's that's my big brain at work. It's it's a bit annoying sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. Like the the ability to concentrate on a movie and read the captions. That is like some kind of superpower. I just I don't have that. Um, I don't like reading in the first place, which makes it very ironic that I wrote a book. But I wrote the book in such a way that you would want to read it if you have ADHD or any other kind of, like, I don't want to say mental disorder. If you have any other kind of um, non-social linear 
thinking. Yeah, there we go. Big words, $5 words. Um, if you have anything like that, whether it's Asperger's, autism, uh, Down syndrome, um, ADHD, anything on the spectrum, it will help. My book will help. There's a couple of sections that like might need some explaining, but for the most part, I wrote the book to be for youths. Youth. Youth. I wrote the book for you. The way I would want to read a book. Now, I read a book, or I started reading a book the other day. It was some kind of Unity programming book. Oh, what was it? No, it was, it was a manual of some kind. And you know what? I got all the way up to chapter five and realized I hadn't read anything about the programming languages I, I was reading about. I was learning the history and what it means to be a program. I'm like, I don't care about where JavaScript came from or how jQuery got its name. I don't care. Show me how to program something. So that's what I did with my book. And you know what? I'm ranting right now and I'm hyper fixating on the fact that I have ADHD and I don't have coffee in my system because I'm drinking water because we have a, an early night tomorrow. My, uh, no, early day because my daughter, she has map testing starting tomorrow, which means we have to be up at six. And at six o'clock, oh man, wait a second. Skills. At six o'clock, we're going to have to be on the road and she has to be there by 6.15, 6.45. Which means waking up early, early. No, er ah, dang it. I missed, no skills. Skills. Skrillex. Bang a rang. Sorry. <laughs> oh man, that was one of my favorite artists back in 2000. What? 16, 15. Man, I'm I'm referring to the 2015s and 16s like it's some kind of thing. Oh, by the way, if you were born after the year 2010, congratulations, you are not Gen Z. You are Gen Alpha found that out the other day and my son kept referring to himself like we Gen Zers and I'm like you are not a Gen Z because I, I didn't realize it but yeah Gen Alpha is from 2010 to 2024 it should be about 15 years yep yep for those of you wondering yes I am a millennial I fall there but at the same time, I bef before they categorized it the way they did, I was a, a Generation X. So I was Gen X, Gen Z. No, but I'm not Gen Z. There's no way I'm Gen Z. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely in the millennial time frame. Which is ironic because I own my own house and I have a mortgage and I'm buying houses and doing all the stuff that they kind of make fun of millennials for like the presentation or the, the participation award. Now, don't get me wrong. That's kind of funny because we all got participation awards. I didn't understand until later on that that's a huge insult. You participated. Yeah. And who won? And better yet, by how much? <laughs> no, uh, I'm I'm not one to rub a victory in someone's face. Like, ha! I win. I never do that. Uh, and that's why I think the emotes in Fortnite should be absolutely just removed. Like, you can't dance ten minutes after you've eliminated someone. I feel like it's insulting. It's rubbing it in their face. Give them a GG, give them a good job, you know? Where's the sportsmanship? Where's the honor of you fought somebody on the battlefield? You lost, get over it. 
And better yet, where's the handshake afterwards? Like, why are you cussing the guy out? He did better than you. It may have even been luck, and you might have even felt like it was just luck. But there's no reason to scream at the person who just eliminated you. And to, to call them names, are you serious? They won. You lost. Get over it. Participation award. <laughs> you still got your experience points. You still got your, your experience points for the leveling. So, I mean, why are you so angry? Progression is progression, even for the sake of being eliminated and, and moving on to the next round. You know, maybe in the next round you'll do better and you'll eliminate somebody else. I just... I think the world has been broken for a while and I didn't see it happen. Either I was too naive or... I, I was deployed over in Okinawa, Japan. Who knows? This, this may have happened back in 2004 and I've just not caught up since, you know? I think the world needs a big dose of friendship and love and compassion and thoughtfulness. It's okay to be proud that you won, okay? You can. You can be proudful. It's another to rub it in somebody's face and tell them that they're a loser and that you're number one, you're the best ever. You've crossed a line. Okay, Ninja? Okay? He's never going to see this. And that's okay. I absolutely don't care. Ninja has shown his colors. I'm going to show mine. And that's that. I want to congratulate. And don't get me wrong. I've done it before too. I've done it in the middle of the night where... It's late, I'm tired, and I missed the shot, or I, I missed the... <coughs> Ow! I missed the, the aim, or I just royally just messed up. You know, it happens. And you get mad. You get upset. But what I get really upset is when I know it was a good match, they know it was a good match, and then they dance on me. Mmm. You serious? Like you're doing your little <laughs> laugh. Oh, I wish they'd get rid of that laugh. That's annoying. But look at me getting all caught up in my own emotions here. Mm -hmm. Emotions are a good thing to talk about. Especially like the, the reactions that you have to them and how you should handle them on a daily basis. Whether for, for gain or for just common well-being. It's something that we should all recognize. And be, be able to talk about. I think, I think that's more powerful than any video about uh, jump scares. Just saying. Emotions are very scary things. Oh my goodness, it's 23 minutes in. I've been jabbering away. Not letting, letting you guys talk at all. So I'm, I'm going to leave it here. Leave me a comment down below. Talk about your feelings. Let it out. Did you have a good day? Did you have a bad day? I hope I got you to forget about it for a little bit. And for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, we're, we're going into summer. We're getting there. We're warming up. And it's, it's time to jump away from school. Um, keep in mind, there's still a coronavirus out there. Stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask, all that good stuff. But who's ready to get out and get some sun? I know I am. Not really. I, I love air conditioning. I encourage my kids to stay inside and play video games. Because that's what I would do anyway. But I am an outside dad. If, uh, if they want to go outside and stuff like that, I'll be more than willing to go with them. It's cool. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. Like a good YouTuber. Code Prime H there. Don't forget. I love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Outro.
want some new merch, check out teespring.com. Outro.